So if we talk about unit analysis, what unit analysis is, is basically figuring out how to determine whether you multiply or divide by a certain conversion factor. So if we have an example like 5 meters equals how many yards? And you want to know whether you multiply by a number or divide by a number. What you want to do is you want to look at what the conversion factor is. So meters to yards. Okay, let's write this down. So we look at this and we say, I know that I have... Uh, not I know that I have... Uh, this value right here, sorry, let's do that again, 1 meters, 1.09 yards. So I know that I have this, 1 meter equals 1.09 yards. And this right here, this number right here, can also be written as a conversion factor between yards and meters. It can be written like this, 1.09 yards is 1 meter. And you can use this conversion factor to multiply to convert. So this is actually a conversion factor that we can use to multiply um, by our given um, measurement. So 5 meters, if we multiply this by our conversion factor, and notice that I'm writing the Units, okay? Unit analysis. You have to write the units so that you can make sure this is going to work out. Now, how did I know to multiply these? Well, I multiply these because I see that this unit, which is meters in the numerator and meters in the denominator, they cancel each other out or they divide out and they're gone. And what you're left with is yards for your final answer. So this is 5 times 1.09. And that's your answer, yards. So, if we get on our calculator here, 5 times 1.09 is 5.45. 5.45, and that's the number of yards, because our unit analysis says that we've done this correctly. So that's 5 times 1.09, and technically divided by 1. Right? So that's how we know that we've done this correctly. If we do a similar example where we are given yards and we want to end up with meters as our final answer, then we can still use this conversion factor, but let me show you how this, this works now. If you tried to multiply by this, and this is where unit analysis would show you, um, you know, that something is wrong, it would look like this, right? This is a valid conversion factor between yards and meters, but unit analysis would show us that, hey, yards and meters are not the same, so you couldn't cancel those out. And as a matter of fact, the unit that you'd end up with here would be yards squared per meter. And that doesn't look anything like this, does it? No. So what you want to do then is you want to say, okay, my unit analysis is telling me that I can't multiply by this. But what if I rewrote this conversion factor as 1 meter is to 1.09 yards? Well, that's something else. Look at this, which is, which is really just as valid as this. But if I multiply now by that, 1 meter is to 1.09 yards, now my unit analysis tells me that, hey, yards and yards up in the numerator and down in the denominator, those divide out. And I'm left with meters, which is exactly what I want. And so what this tells us then is 17.5 times 1, that's this, times this, all divided by this number down here, 1.09. And when we do that all together, so 17.5, times 1, okay, all divided by 1.09, we get 16.06, 16.06 
meters, and there you have it. So unit analysis tells us, you know, how to arrange things and whether we end up multiplying by a certain number or dividing by that certain number. That's unit analysis.